On October 28, 1943, Carl Allen and his shipmates on the SS Andrew Firth found themselves unwitting witnesses to a phenomenon that defied all known laws of physics. The evening was cold, the air thick with tension and curiosity. Allen and his crew stood on the deck, their eyes fixed on the USS Eldridge, a brand new cannon-class destroyer escort. As an eerie silence fell over the shipyard, a low, ominous hum began to emanate from the Eldridge. The hum grew louder, the tension more palpable. The crew of the Andrew Firth watched, their hearts pounding in their chests as a greenish haze began to envelop the Eldridge. This haze spread rapidly, creeping along the ship's hull and rising into the air. The men watched in stunned silence, unsure of what was unfolding before their eyes. Suddenly, a blinding flash of light pierced the gloom, so intense it forced them to shield their eyes. When the light subsided, the Eldridge had vanished. Panic and disbelief spread among the crew. Their eyes darted around the shipyard, but the massive destroyer was nowhere to be seen. But the nightmare was only beginning. Moments later, another flash lit up the night, and the Eldridge reappeared. But something was terribly wrong. Technicians and military personnel rushed to board the Eldridge, only to be met with scenes of unimaginable horror. Crew members were found fused with the ship's metal, their bodies partially embedded in bulkheads and floors, as if they had been melded with the very fabric of the vessel. Many were dead, their faces frozen in agonizing expressions. Others were alive but catatonic, their minds shattered by the ordeal. Some were found wandering the ship, their bodies intact but their minds irreparably broken, babbling incoherently or crying out in pain. The survivors of this macabre experiment were left with lasting scars. Episodes of madness, violent outbursts, and sudden disappearances haunted them. Some would freeze in place like statues trapped in time, while others would vanish into thin air, never to be seen again. The toll on the crew was unimaginable, with some men found dead, their bodies grotesquely twisted and merged with the ship's structure. In the aftermath, the surviving crew members were closely monitored. They were sworn to secrecy regarding the details of the experiment, but many of them exhibited long-lasting and even permanent anomalous side effects. Some would descend into sudden episodes of madness, acting with uncontrollable rage and anger before suddenly returning to normal as if nothing had happened. Certain crew members would suffer complete mental breakdowns and never recover. Others would become trapped in what Carl Allen referred to as deep freezes, immobilized on the spot, frozen in the pose of whatever action they had been conducting at the time. Incredibly, in a small number of instances, crewmen would fade out of existence and never rematerialize. One sailor, disoriented, was observed to walk straight through a solid brick wall and was never seen again. During another incident, two sailors from the Eldridge became embroiled in a bar fight with crew members of another ship, only to suddenly vanish in the midst of the ruckus. There were also rumors of an even more disturbing event in which a former Eldridge crew member, experiencing a deep freeze, inexplicably burst into flames. His inert remains continued to burn uncontrollably for a further 18 days, despite efforts to extinguish the blaze. Official records dismissed the incident, citing routine degaussing experiments designed to protect ships from magnetic mines. Yet whispers of the Philadelphia experiment persisted. Carl Allen, later known as Carlos Allende, would tell his story, painting a picture of an experiment that attempted to unify the fields of electromagnetism and gravity. Allen described how the experiment's goal was invisibility, but the unintended consequence was teleportation. The Eldridge, he claimed, had momentarily appeared hundreds of miles away in Norfolk, Virginia. Witnesses there corroborated sightings of the ship, adding another layer to the mystery. 
Investigations into Allen himself verified that he was indeed a member of the Andrew Firth crew at that time. He would go on to serve on several other naval vessels during the course of his military career before retiring at the end of the war. However, interviews with his family and friends painted the picture of a fantasist who had spent his entire life exaggerating his dealings and encounters with others. Over the course of several interviews, Allen altered or embellished various aspects of the tale. At one point, when challenged by a journalist, Allen apparently admitted that he had made the whole story up, only to later deny this during a subsequent interview. Despite the skepticism, some witnesses have come forward over the years suggesting a potential cover-up by the military. These include a former sailor named Alfred Bilek, who claimed to have served aboard the Eldridge at the time and had jumped off the ship at the point the experiment was initiated. His testimony was so haunting in nature that the incident has now been cemented in lore as one of the most disturbing military experiments of all time. This has led to suggestions that the U.S. military acted quickly to cover up the tragic events they had perpetrated, replacing the crew of the Eldridge before she saw real service and altering the logs of any and all ships that had been present. Efforts to render ships invisible to magnetic triggers of enemy mines and torpedoes, known as degaussing, were undertaken by the Allied navies during World War II. These involved running a series of electrical cables and coils around the perimeter of the ship in order to generate a decoy low-level electromagnetic field. An example of this can be seen aboard HMS Belfast, a World War II museum ship docked on the River Thames in central London. Official papers also suggest that similar experiments were carried out by the United States Navy aboard the USS Timmerman. The Timmerman was an Edsall-class destroyer, which was indeed based in Philadelphia at the time the events related by Allen are alleged to have taken place. Similarly, there are reports that sailors aboard the USS Timmerman were adversely affected by an electric field in further post-war degaussing experiments during the 1950s. For Carl Allen, the weight of what he had witnessed never lifted. Near penniless and estranged from his family, he lived out his days in quiet isolation, haunted by the ghosts of that October night. The Philadelphia experiment remains one of the most disturbing military projects in history, a stark reminder of the potential horrors that lie at the intersection of science and the unknown. Decades have passed, but the echoes of the Eldridge's disappearance still linger. The story stands as a chilling testament to human curiosity and the perils of playing with forces beyond our understanding. In the shadows of these events, one cannot help but question the broader implications of government secrecy and conspiracy. The Philadelphia experiment, like the ongoing debates surrounding UFOs and extraterrestrial encounters, raises critical questions about what truths are hidden from the public eye. How many other projects, buried deep within classified files, remain undisclosed? If the government was willing to cover up such a monumental experiment, what else might they be concealing? The parallels between the Philadelphia experiment and the alleged UFO cover-ups suggest a pattern of secrecy that challenges our understanding of reality and the limits of scientific exploration. If you like this video and you want to see more amazing content, go ahead, check out the next video on our channel.